Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Ferret, and welcome back to X4 Foundations and the Cradle of Humanity expansion, where we are still in our katana, uh, and I have been very busy since the last episode where we couldn't do the main mission, uh, and as such, uh, I have been sort of, well, I've, I've done some missions I over in, uh, over in um, Terran space, uh, I grabbed some new weapons and stuff. No, I didn't. I had a look at the weapons. I con contemplated getting some really cool laser things that do lots of damage, but uh, they are horrendously expensive and I couldn't afford them. So, uh, what I did is I went over there and I got um, I got the def the blueprints for the defense, some defense stuff, uh, some um, bolts bolter gun stuff, the shields, and missiles, uh, I'm looking at my notes, uh, and uh, that, uh, that actually obviously cost quite a lot of cash, when I say quite a lot of cash, loads of cash, uh, and uh, as such we have a little bit less cash now, which is why I have been doing some careful nabbing of, uh, of pirate ships, uh, and also why I'm still doing careful nabbing of pirate ships. Um, I've spread satellites all over Grand Exchange, as you can see. Oh, there's a plunderer there. Hmm. Plunderer Phoenix. But I haven't got uh, I haven't got any Marines at the moment, and my ship doesn't really carry all that many. Oh, there's another plunderer Phoenix over there. Uh, and my ships don't really carry many Marines, so I need to buy myself a ship that will carry loads of Marines. That will be very helpful. Uh, and so I need to decide on a ship that will carry loads of marines. Uh, obviously I could buy a Cobra, I guess, from the Split. Hmm. Because I'm actually friends with the Split at the moment. Uh, so potentially I could buy a Cobra. Let's see. It's a medium. Cobra Fighter! I could buy a Cobra Fighter. They carry loads of people. Hmm. 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 Very tempting. Very tempting indeed. Yeah, I might do that, but not yet because I've only got I've only got like four million, and it's three point something million to get that. So, yeah, that's not happening. Instead, what is happening is we are going to follow this line and go and destroy. Well, no, I'm going to go and grab uh, another fighter. That has uh, carefully, uh, carefully disappeared somewhere. What's this? What's this? No, wait. I could have, I could have more plunderers in this blooming area. It's. This is why I actually um, went around Grand Exchange and, uh, and 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 dumped loads of satellites around here. Well, when I say that, I got somebody else to do it. Uh, but uh, it worked quite nicely, uh, and now we have uh, we have loads of satellites around this area. I reckon that this. Um, pirate ship is going to make it through a gate before I get there. Nah, we'll try. As this is the uh, the rapier that's dotting my satellites everywhere, so I'm hoping that that's going to manage to do what it did, what it should do. I changed the guns. I've got two uh, two um, split guns on there, which are really quite good. I like those. Uh, I think Enjoy they're the neutron gatlin. Now. I can't remember if they're the neutron four. gatlin or not. Wow. Okay, this is a lot of meteors. Hello there, a lot of meteors. What Osprey, are you? Vanguard. Oh, police. Okay. Minotaur. I'll have to try raider. not to get to this Minotaur raider too close to the uh, to the other stuff. Now they did the, the last one of these pirate ships that I shot down. It was trying to attack me. Believe it or not. Uh, it uh, it said uh, something along the lines of, hmm, I've spotted something cool on your ship. Uh, and uh, and so it tried to attack me. Here he goes! Wonderful! Well, that's lovely. Good, come over here, I'll scan the heck out of you, and then I'll start your blasting your ship. Is it? No! Ignore. You will die. Oh, really? <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. Uh, it's uh, Shijin who taught me Incoming how to do this. Missile. Oh heck! Why missiles? Stop with the missiles! I have my my um, my bolters on the top are set up to shoot down missiles. But do they shoot down missiles? Heck no! Why 
Why, why would they shoot down missiles? They don't think that that's their job. Uh -uh. <laughs> so they don't. They don't shoot down the missiles, and my shields are almost gone already. <sighs> well, I'm faster than missiles, I do believe. And my shields, they charge up super quick. Because the shields on this thing just charge up super quick. As soon as they start charging. Come on, shields. Get charging. You know how to do it. Yeah. Get, get charging, shields. Come on. You know you want to. I don't want to go too far away from him. I don't want him to uh, to lose interest in attacking my ship. But I do want those missiles to lose interest in attacking my ships. I will possibly. That's that's quite true. Uh, it it all depends on those missiles, mate. There will be consequences for that. Will there? Does it involve more missiles? Because if it does, I don't really want those. You can you can fire anything else as long as it's not missiles. Incoming missile. Oh. Right. I've got no countermeasures. Boo! I need to go to a uh, I need to go to a station and and get some counter uh, counter things. I wonder if I can get him on the uh, on the comms. You abandon your ship. Eh? No, he's not talking to me. All right. Fair enough. In that case, we'll do this jousting thing where you go over there and then I come back and you go over there and I come back. Here. Have some shots. Enjoy the shots. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, do that. I really want his ship. Hand it over. I did try to take a ship. Um, right, I shot one. And he, he abandoned. I thought to myself, I can't be bothered to uh, to um, get on that ship. So I sent uh, a marine to get on the ship. Now, this was a really bad idea. I thought that that would be fine. But it turns out that when you send a marine to go and get the ship, Incoming unlike you getting the ship, half of the blooming things blow up. So he blew up all of the uh, all of the turrets, all of the guns, uh, and uh, and took out most of the most of the things that I was going to sell on the ship. Uh, and as such, I um, I got the ship uh, sold for much less than it would usually have been sold for. Which was excessively disappointing. Uh, so yeah, I, I also sold the marine because the marine was rubbish anyway. Which is probably a, a good explanation for why he failed me. But you know, what can you do? Right, get out. Get out. Some of them really don't want to get out because they've got uh, they've got cargo. I'm basically taking the uh, the Xenon approach to uh, to doing this. Because <laughs> this is exactly the sort of uh, exactly the sort of run that the Xenon would do. Yeah, hopefully your ship. Oh well, there's always time. <laughs> right. I hear missiles exploding. Eventually, you'll run out of them. Where are you, missile? Please don't touch me. <laughs> Are you going to punish me by giving me a ship? No. Maybe next time. <laughs> I do like the Grand Exchange area. Now that it's got all this weird mist stuff, it's quite nice. I mean, I've, I've not really got the mist set to actually do much. Incoming it's missile. sort of set to uh, the lowest of the... Well, next to the lowest of the settings. Uh, which is low, but it's not bad. So yes, I, I approve. There will be consequences for that. Yeah, I need his shield to go down. Did I get him? Incoming missile. Uh, ah. yeah. I got him. I got him a little. Yeah. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna get out. Yeah. I'll be back, ship. I need more ships. Whilst we're doing this, of course, the uh, the last ship that uh, that attacked me is uh, is actually being attacked itself. Incoming. No, not being attacked itself. Danger. Being sold. Okay. Danger. Yeah, I know. Missiles. Got it. Get out. Surrender. No. You may notice that I have a mission at the bottom of my screen. Uh, the mission at the bottom of my screen is to destroy two. Um, 
Xenon P. Uh, and it's part of the Xenon War against the Terrans. Uh, so it's actually... We have, we have lots to do with that. Ah, they're chucking out blooming things. Now, the reason why I decided to pick up a, 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 a Terran War against the, uh, the, the Xenon is because... Um, we want to get the last point of rep that we need to get to 20 in rep. He's running away! <laughs> he is actually running away. Ooh. The cheek of it. Get back over here. You can't start a fight and then run away. Well, they can't. Especially when I'm winning. <laughs> right, right. We're following him. We're following him. We're, we're, we're going way past him. Way past him. Okay. Can we get him? Use your shields! Ah, you're going in there, aren't you? Oh, Stop fine. your attack immediately. I, oh, I didn't notice I was shooting you. Sorry, mate. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's all fine. Fine, I tell you. Entering Grand Exchange. Oh, has he got one of his shields one. back? Where are you? 20 something kilometers away that way. I'll get you. He does he can't um hide behind his shields and and avoid stuff. Uh, and he can't go too fast because I can shoot him now. Do you, um usually they are like marked off as uh, as something else. And so because they're marked off as something else, it's difficult to catch them out. Um because the local authorities will still think that there's something else until you start shooting them and they go out of travel drive uh, and you can then scan them and scanning them is usually very helpful for telling that they're bad guys right you I'm going to ask you politely to get out of your vehicle yeah politely with guns right you watch I won't get it <laughs> come on oh stop laser throwing blooming laser one. towers out at me Alright, I can get this laser tower. Bye, laser tower. <laughs> Dead in seconds. Minotaur, raider. Did you see that, Minotaur Raider? Did you see how I annihilated your laser tower in Oh. Laser Tower Mark One. You gonna watch this one? Huh? Minotaur Raider. He's losing all of the things that I would usually sell afterwards. I wonder if he's run out of... Uh, he might have Laser run out of tower, missiles. That might be why. Bye bye. Minotaur, Wait, second. Raider. Turn around. And... After him with the I'm going to capture your ship lasers. What was foolish? Save me from this. I'm not talking to you. Hand over your ship immediately. Look at that. You can't get away. Laser Tower Mark One. He might get away because uh, I don't want to blow up his ship entirely. That Minotaur, can't be his. Raider. That can't be his. I wonder if somebody else has dumped a laser tower out really recently. Has he got any other crew? He's going very slowly. Hand over your vehicle. Hand it over. Hand it over, or I'm. Rich, abandoning my vessel. Good. Right. Let's get rid of that laser one. tower before we accidentally get ourselves blown up in space. Uh, and then we'll claim that. Okay. So, as I said, it's not a good idea to actually um, to uh, send marines to pick up a ship. Because they are they are bumbling buffoons Minotaur. and will uh, and will very carefully blow up all the things that you want to sell. I could have potentially blown up all of the things that I want to sell on this one anyway. Uh, but, uh, you know, I try. <laughs> I have a good attempt at getting it right. But we've got enough cash now that I feel that we could uh, we could probably... Actually, maybe I should keep one of these Minotaur Raiders, because you can, you can get quite a lot of people on these Minotaur Raiders. Whereas you can only get a certain amount on this particular ship that I'm driving, the Katana. Uh, and so I might be better off if I don't... Um... Hello. Katana. If I don't sell every single one of these raiders that I have. <laughs> because I don't need them to actually raider. do the shooting. They can just hang around and, and, and do nothing. Uh, but yeah. Alright. Let's get closer. 
And this time, I shall actually grab this ship myself. Yes. And then we'll see what it's got. Probably a lot of nothing. Because, uh, yeah, probably a lot of nothing. Uh, another thing that I've done in the meanwhile is I've done the... Um, the teleportation for uh, the the first Good the hour. first level of teleportation. So teleport to ship. Aha! Now I don't have to wait around in space. I was waiting for um, Bozo Tar to actually say that I teleported because that's actually the first time I've teleported uh, in this. Nothing. Minotaur Nothing at all. Raider. All right. So let's let's have a look and see what our Minotaur Raider has. Uh, first of all, I want to put something on it. Actually, we should have a personnel that can do that. Uh, who are who? Who is ready to go over there? You. You're ready to go over there. You're the only Marine I've got. A Marine that has absolutely no skill whatsoever. So how do I transfer you over there? Work somewhere else for me, would you? Work here. Select. Go over there. Captain that ship. Get in. Go. Brilliant. Now you're in that ship, you can go. I should really take the time to mend the ship before I send it over here because you earn so much more money from mended ships. Uh, so, yeah. But I shall take it over there. And when it gets over there, it can sell its engines because they're rubbish. They can sell that because... Well, actually, it's not because they're rubbish. It's because I won the money. Uh, let's see what else I can sell. It has the tracking missile launcher. That's 20... No, 200,000. That's a decent amount. What's this other one? Again, tracking missile launchers. Brilliant. And you can sell the plasma turrets. Excellent. You've got Mark 1 of all of these bits of stuff. Awesome. It had 50 mines. Amazing. All right, so it still had loads of laser towers. It didn't use any of its flares because I didn't launch a single missile at it. Okay, so now we're going to earn 1.3 million by uh, just selling that, that there. And this should have already sold. Oh, it's, it's, it's doing that now, is it? Is it being broken down? Because it's got a little thing next to it. Oh, no, that's the other one, isn't it? Yeah, this one's already broken down. Alright, I think this has nothing on it now. I will just check. Let's have a look. Make sure it's got nothing on it. Yes, it's got the worst engine. Yeah, it's got the worst of the uh, steering. It's got the worst of everything over here. So, yeah, that's already done. It's empty. What we need to do with that one is we need to go back over there. Because it's decided to go away from it. <laughs> go back over there. And we need to get the pilot. Where's the pilot? You! You over there. Come and work somewhere else for me. I want you to work on my ship. This ship over here. Select the katana. And you're going to be a marine. And that's your assignment. Join me. <laughs> now that has no pilot. So it's not going anywhere. Uh, and I, I could potentially sell it straight away. I mean, you can do that. You can go um, select a, uh, a station like this. And see what price it would get. It would get 450,000. Now that's actually pretty good. That's not, that's not bad at all. But if I repair it, then it might get considerably more. So what I'm going to do is I'm not, I'm not going to sell that just yet. I'll probably go over there in my own time and uh, and repair it, and then uh, and then come back uh, and uh, and do something about that. In the meanwhile, we have uh, we have two. Um, to Xenon P to deal with. Now, we don't have Xenon P over there at the moment. Another place that I've put satellites all over the place for. Uh, second contact flashpoint. Definitely a good place to have satellites everywhere. I don't know where my ship's gone. My rapier. Where are you, rapier? You are just sitting in space doing nothing, aren't you? Ah, lazy rapier. Okay. Uh, well... Argon Prime is a good place to have ships because the uh, the split sends ships through here all the time and the Argon don't like it. So, hmm, that's potential. But actually, a better place for a, a, a load of satellites is Hatikova's Choice because, of course, Hatikova's Choice gets attacked by Xenon 
literally all the time. I mean, there's hardly any time that Xenon isn't trying to blow up stuff in Hedigva's Choice. We'll stick something near this station, I think, because that way the Xenon that are there, there's a good chance that they won't be um, able to catch up with our ship uh, in time to blast it to pieces, although I'm tempted to think that they probably will try. I don't really want to lose 16 um, advanced things. Oh, it's already halfway there. All right, fine. <laughs> I usually pause time before I go on these little adventures, but we've got this uh, this pilot coming over to our uh, our ship, and I don't want to miss it. Yeah, plunderer behemoth sentinel. I will be back, plunderer. I will, as soon as I can get some actual um, characters to do stuff. I mean, I could go to a defense station to actually do that. Hmm. But no, I want to go to any Xenon sector, really, or to uh, the second contact flashpoint because you get um, you get the Xenon P going through here on a regular basis. I've not actually shown you the mission. The mission is where is it? It's in the actual missions that I'm doing. It is here, and it's broken up into. Um, into four missions so we have the hunt down the xenon p mission uh, which is great uh, and then we have destroy station turrets that is going to be difficult that's uh, 1.1 million that is going to be challenging but i'm a reason i've got some guns that are a reasonable distance um, away from stuff i could get some mass drivers from the um, paranid if this was suggested to me recently uh, and i might be able to blast the station guns from 16 kilometers away no 12 kilometers away which is way out of the range of their guns so yeah that would be a great idea uh, and this one again destroy station turrets so that's 30 station turrets 30 station turrets uh, and then we have um hunting down xenon ships orders. again so we've got several hunting down xenon ships which is going to be great who's awaiting orders is it one of those it's one of those isn't it he's already made it there good grief this is what happens i get talking and then everything is going on in the background and i'm not realizing that it's going on in the background so i don't get there anyhow i need to get these Jump. xenon and uh, and fortune. then we will uh, we will have a little bit of extra cash, and with a bit of luck, we will have more rep with the uh, with the Terrans. Yes, I'm just looking at all of the things that I've been doing on the uh, the little list that I've been doing. I have covered the entire list. Great stuff. Uh, so yeah, over to try and get the Xenon. I have been dropping a few lock boxes, more lock boxes in space because uh, I've been trying to keep myself unscanned in terran space it is so dangerous to uh, have um, illegal wares on your ship because they scan you just all the time entering system no fortune we'll yeah. have to do a, a quick turn yeah is that a xenon ship it's gonna be a xenon ship isn't it no it isn't it's somebody else there are fighting things going on over here i don't Jump know eight. why is mists those are containers Interesting, there was a needle in there, so I presume that this was an attack by the um, Kach, which we haven't really run system. across much I yet. I know that the um, the Terran missions are going to involve uh, Kach, and I'm quite excited about that. And now that we're in a ship that's decent, we could probably actually do something about that, because obviously the Kach uh, are, are good fun. I had a look a at a Kach ship recently, and they now actually have a visible shield device, which is quite interesting because previously they didn't. They just had uh, something else. So I think that they must have um, they must have updated the car models um, with these shields uh, so that you can actually see their shield device instead of what you couldn't before. Which makes me wonder: Are they going to actually make it so that you can drive the car ships? I don't know. I would love to be able to drive the car ships because the car ships, again, is fun being able to drive stuff like that. Peregrine. So I want to Sentinel. do that, but uh, I, don't, I don't think... I don't. It's like, what's that mission? I see things blinking at the side of my screen. I think, missions. Ah, it's not what I wanted. I've been um, trying to... Oh, hello. 
destroy eight fallen family ships. I might do that in time anyway, so I pick up those missions, even if there's a, a little chance of me doing it any time soon. <laughs> of course you can! You can count on me to possibly pick Entering up that mission system. and potentially Artifact do it at claim. some point. Ah, heck, it's changed my mission, hasn't it? But there's loads of other missions. What's this? I'm after yeah, building missions, but not building missions of... Um, like building an actual thing like a factory I don't want to build a factory I want to build a um, what do I want to build I want to build a defense station that would be great if I could build defense stations because that costs you get loads and loads of cash for defense stations and it's really easy to make them so yeah entering system holy vision holy vision okay I need to get some satellites around here as well actually this might be a good place to get um, xenon P. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I got quite a lot of Zen on P in this particular um, sector when I was playing uh, on side with the uh, HOP. So yeah, I don't know. But uh, but uh, second contact. I've, that's the place that I've seen the most P recently. How's our little satellite friend doing? Is he actually dumping satellites everywhere? Okay, he's got to the last of the satellites, and there are Xenon in the sector. Of course there are. Wow! Just look at it! Oh, look at all that stuff! Oh no, I'm going there. Yes, because there's so many things! So many things I want! And that K is nearly destroyed anyway, so it doesn't stand a chance. Of course, the amount of time that I'm going to take to get there... This is probably all going to be gone by the time I get there. But that's where I'm headed. So yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to get myself some Xenon, um, Xenon destroying done. But I'm going to have to uh, go, and, go and pick up in the next episode because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.